Good afternoon everybody. My topic today is aldol condensation reaction from 12th class chapter aldehyde and ketone. Now before going to aldol condensation let me tell you what is meant by condensation. A condensation reaction is that reaction where two or more similar or dissimilar molecules are to be combined. So condensation means two or more molecules, two or more similar or dissimilar molecules have to be combined. Second condition is here there may or may not be. Elimination of smaller molecules like HCl, H2O, NH3, etc. In this reaction, smaller molecules like HCl, H2O, NH3 May, may be released or may not be released. Third condition is such type of reactions are generally carried out In presence of bases like NaOH, BaOH, HO2, etc. So three con three conditions for condensation reactions I have cited here. First one is two or more similar or dissimilar molecules are to be combined. Second one is, in this reaction, there may or may not be elimination of smaller molecules like HCl, H2, and H3. And the third condition is, such type of reactions are generally carried out in presence of a base like NaOH, BaOH, whole two, barium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. Now, Why this reaction is called aldol condensation? In this reaction, the product which is formed, the product which is formed is an aldol. In this type of reaction, the product of GG form is an aldol. This means one aldehyde functional group will be there and then one alcohol functional group will be there. Also, maybe one ketone. Ketone functional group plus alcohol functional group.
So in this type of reaction, the product which is formed contains one aldehyde group and one alcohol group, or it may contain one ketone group and one alcohol group. So the product is an aldol or a ketone, but the usual name aldol is still going on although a ketone is formed. The general name aldol is still going on. Now, what this reaction is? Only those aldehydes Only those aldehydes or ketones where there is at least one alpha hydrogen atom. will respond to this test will respond to this reaction my point is only those aldehydes or those ketones where there is at least one alpha hydrogen atom will respond to this reaction so this means HCHO. This is formaldehyde or methanol. This is the functional group. This is the functional group having no alpha hydrogen atom because it does not have the alpha carbon atom, so it will not respond. CH3CHO is acetaldehyde or ethanol. This is the functional group. This is the alpha carbon atom having three alpha hydrogen atom. So it will respond. This is acetone. This is the functional group. Here there is alpha carbon and here there is alpha carbon atom. Here there are three alpha hydrogen atoms, here there are also three hydrogen alpha hydrogen atoms, hence it will respond. This is the functional group, this is alpha hydrogen atom, this is beta, this is gamma. Alpha, alpha carbon atom has two alpha hydrogen atoms, hence it will respond. This is the functional group. It has the alpha carbon atom and one alpha hydrogen atom, hence it will respond. This is the functional roof, this is the alpha position. This is the alpha position having no alpha hydrogen atom, hence it will not respond. So from engineering and medical examination point of view, I have cited a different examples which, which compound will respond to idle condensation and which compound will not respond. Now I shall tell you what this reaction is. similar aldehydes I shall take
This is acetaldehyde. I shall write this compound in a different way, showing the carbonyl group. This is acetaldehyde. Two similar molecules I shall combine. So this is also acetaldehyde. Now what will happen? This hydrogen atom will be linked here. The reaction is carried out in presence of dilute sodium hydroxide. The product formed will be This is an aldol because it contains one aldehyde group and one alcohol group. And the name of the compound is 3 hydroxy butanol. This is LDI group 1, 2, 3, 4, so it is butane, hence the name of the compound is butanol, and 3 position there is one, alt, then there is one uh, hydroxyl group, so 3, uh, there is one hydroxyl group, so it is 3 hydroxy butanol. This is an aldol. What will happen? The moment this compound is formed, it will be dissociated. Eliminating water, one water in presence of acid and on heating. This aldol which will be formed that will further eliminate one water molecule in presence of one acid and on heating. So the compound formed will be CH3 CH double bond CH. CHO, H, OH, water will go, CH double bond CHO. So this is an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or alpha beta unsaturated ketone will form alpha beta. This is functional group. This is alpha position. This is beta position. So alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. And the name of the compound is this is the butane this is two position there is double bond so it is but 2en 1al here there is a aldehyde group, two position there is double bond, so but 2 en 1 al alpha beta and such aldehyde. Now, in presence of dilute sodium hydroxide, two similar aldehyde compounds having alpha hydrogen atom is combined, it contains to form an aldol. This compound aldol and further heating presence of acid eliminates one water molecule forming alpha beta and saturated aldehyde as I have written in the board. Now similarly two ketone molecules This is acetyl or having alpha hydrogen atom will combine with in presence of dilute barium hydroxide this will form This is one ketol because the ketone group is there and alcohol group is there and the name of the compound is four hydroxy 
फॉर मिथाइल और हाइड्रोक्सी फॉर मिथाइल पेंटान टोनी लेट मी चेक इट इज जी टो थ्री फोर फोर हाइड्रोक्सी फोर मिथाइल देन पेंटान टोनी दिस इज द किटोन व्हिच इज फॉर्म ऑन फर्दर हीटिंग इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ डाइल्यूट एसिड वाटर विल बी एलिमिनेटेड सो द कंपाउंड फॉर्म इज this is the compound which is found and name of the compound is pent three n two o n e and four methyl four methyl pent Cn and two Ne. So this is the condensation reaction of two aldehyde molecules similar to each other or two ketone molecule, ketone compounds. I have combined their acetaldehyde and here I am combining acetone. Two acetone molecules. This is about aldol condensation, where I have mixed similar molecules of aldehyde and similar molecules of ketone. Now I shall tell you cross aldol condensation. cross aldol condensation here two dissimilar molecules are to be combined having alpha hydrogen atom i may mix acetaldehyde with acetone i may mix acetaldehyde with propanol propanol this is ethanol this is propanol i may mix this is ethanol acetaldehyde this is propan 2ne or it is acetone i may mix the product will be a plus b plus c plus d this compound will mix with this one the product a this compound will mix with the same compound the product b this compound will mix with this one forming c and this compound will mix with this one forming d let me tell you the reaction details so ethanol acetaldehyde this will be this is a functional group this is alpha hydrogen atom so it will be in this way I shall write now in presence of dilute NaOH the product formed will be CH3 CH OH CH CH3 and CHO. This is Aldol. On, on heating, 
in presence of acid water molecule will go it will form cl3 c h double bond ch double bond c cho because this hydrogen atom will combine with hydroxyl ion liberating water so this is one compound the other compound is this is when a combines with b when let it let me write it is a this is b when a combines with b the second one is The product will be on heating, it will form. This is an A. Combines with A. The third one is C three in presence of dilute N H. The product is CH3, CH2, CH. OH, CH, CH3, CHO. On heating in presence of H plus. When I shall heat, the product will be C three, C H two, C H double bond C H, C three, C H O. This is when B. Combines with B. The last one is when B will combine with A. So CH three, CH two, CHO. When B will combine with A plus H CH two, CHO. So the compound is. CH three, CH two, CHOH, CH two, 
see it too. Now, on heating presence of AC, we shall get the elimination of water, CA3, CH2, CH, double bond to CH, single bond to CHO. This is when B combines with A. So I have told you about cross hydrol condensation where I have two, I, where I have combined two different type of aldehyde molecules. Similarly, I can combine with aldehyde with ketone, but here I have cited two different type of aldehydes having alpha hydrogen atom. A and B are the two different compounds. The product form is when A will combine with A, the product is this one. Then when B will combine with B, the product is this one. Then when A will combine with B, the product is the first one. Now when B will combine with A, the product is this one. This is, a, this is the aldol condensation reaction. The first one I have cited already, I have told you already in details about aldol condensation, what is condensation reaction and why it is called aldol condensation reaction. And the second one is cross aldol condensation where two different type of molecules are combined. Okay, I hope it's clear to you. It's a different, it's a difficult reaction, but I have explained in such a way so, so that you can do it in your home of your own accord you can try. Okay, thank you, thank you all.